Hi guys, hope you're having a Merry Christmas uh, weekend. Um, the weekend's coming up, the cold has been brutal. I hope your pipes and everything are safe, in Jesus' name. My title of the message is going to be The First Noel. And I told God, I was like, if you keep my power on, I'll do this message. So God blessed me to keep my power on last night. Dripping my faucets and everything's okay. Give him the glory in Jesus' name. I'm excited about this message and ramped up about it. I went over it today and added some new stuff to it. Prepare your hearts. Open your ears and your eyes for this message. Close your eyes and lift up your hands. Are you in need of a miracle, a savior today? Are you in need of refuge and strength? And peace through the storms. Are you going through heartache and rejection? Money issues. Storm after storm after storm. Well let's look and see what God's word. What he spoke to me to tell you today for the answer. Today before I start let's pray. Evil spirits flee. I bind you in Jesus name. Let every tongue confess that Jesus you are the Lord of our life. And we will inherit eternal life in heaven. We love you, Jesus. Speak to me. Give me peace and favor as I speak. Heal each and every one and touch each and every one. You know what each person that's going to listen to this video needs and wants. You know each hurt. In Jesus' name, speak and minister to them. Send extra angels. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Get your Bible, get your notepad. If you don't want to get out the Bible, uh, write. I love writing. I think the pen comes alive when you write sometimes. My first scripture is going to be John 3.16. This is the NLT version. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Don't you want to have eternal life with the Father today? He's a gracious and wonderful God. I love this song. It's called The First Noel, song by Carrie Underwood. Let's re read the song lyrics together. And remember, before I start, you're the apple of his eye. You're his most prized possession. He loves you so much. Don't give up. Don't starve yourself. Nourishment comes from the soul. We don't live by bread alone. The first Noel. I'm sorry. Let me turn that down a little bit. Okay. All right. The first Noel. The angels did say, was to a certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, and fields where they lay keeping their sheep. On a cold winter's night that was so deep, we can relate right now, right, with the cold and the um, fr below freezing temperatures. Noel, Noel, Noel. Born as a king of Israel, they looked up and saw a star in the sky shining in the east beyond them far. And to the earth, it gave great light. Let me get rid of this message here. Okay. And so it continued both day and night. Noel, 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 born as the king of Israel. Born as the king of Israel. The star drew not nigh, nigh to the northwest over Bethlehem. It took its rest. And there it did both pause and it stayed. Right over the place where Jesus lay. Noel, Noel, born as a king. Let us all with one accord sing praises to our heavenly Lord today. That have made heaven, he, the Lord has made heaven and earth. And with his blood mankind have bought, Noel, no, Noel, born as a king of Israel. Let's praise the king of Israel this Christmas on Jesus' birthday. Your property is in his hands, and that's for someone right now. 
I don't know if that's uh, possessions, belongings. What you own is in his hands. Don't worry about it. You will get money to feed the children. God will make a way when there seems no way. Rivers through the desert. Your driest points in your life. Rivers of living water right through it. Oceanfront property in Arizona. God will clear a pathway to the other side. The promised land of milk and honey. It's your birthright. God promises to his children. It's your birthright. A suddenly is about to happen. Your storage capacity is about to overflow. Your barns will overflow with blessings. You will reap what you sow. You sow good, you will get good. You sow a good harvest, you'll get a good harvest. You will get clarity, says God. That's for someone. Housing provided, declares the Lord. Seating provided. Not only is he going to give you a house, but he's going to have it's going to be furnished. God's about to turn the page in your story. There's victory. Tidy up. You're leaving soon. Pack your bags. You ready for that spiritual blessing? I love this song by Corey Ashbury. It's Reckless Love. Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You've been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life into me. You've been so, so good to me. And be true to yourself. Don't try to be somebody else. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending love of God. And he says, wash your sins and your past mistakes away on that cross. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found and leaves in 99. I couldn't earn it, earn it. I don't deserve it. Still, you give yourself away. And remember, you're adopted in Christ's family when you accept Christ into your heart. When I was your foe, still your love fought for me and his love is going to fight for you. You've been so, so good to me. You've been slow to, sold to slavery and held captive and feel like you're in prison. God says his sheep knows his voice and he knows yours. The wolf is out to prowl and kill and destroy, but God covers you and protects you with his feathers. There's no shadow he won't light up and mountain he won't climb up coming after me. There's no wall he won't kick down coming after that lost person. I like this song too. And before I say your coming and your going is going to be blessed. Say that out loud. Write it. I lift my hands by Chris Tomlin. Be still. There is a healer right now. Where do you need healing? Physically? Spiritually? For someone you've been praying for for healing? He is your God. Jehovah Jireh. Jesus. Jehovah Jireh is your provider. He's an orchestrator, the beginning and alpha and mega and, uh, and beginning and end of all. His love is deeper than the sea. His mercy is unfailing. His arms are a fortress for the weak. When you're weak right now and you're crying yourself to sleep and stress is overloading. He is your fortress. Let faith arise. I lift my hands to believe again. You are my refuge. You are my strength. As I pour out my heart, these things I remember. You are fa a faithful God forever. Be still. There is a river that flows from Calvary's tree. A fountain for the thirsty. Pure grace that washes over me. Let faith arise in your situations right now. God is with you. God will make the wrongs right. Jesus laid a way for you right now and your children. Forgiveness on the cross for our sins? What, what do you do when you're afraid? You got stress and 
overloading a worry. We got to make sure our seed falls on fertile ground, firm foundation. Let's read Deuteronomy chapter 31, 6 to 8. So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them. God says don't panic before those giants and storms that you face. Those lions, those fiery furnace moments. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. He won't abandon you. Then Moses called for Joshua and all of Israel watched. He said to him, be strong and courageous. God's telling you, be strong and courageous. You're going to a new platform. For you will lead these people into the land that the Lord swore to their ancestors he would give them. You're the one who will divide it among them and the grants of land. Do not be afraid or discouraged. And that, that scripture comes to me. If you're not either cold or hot for God, you're lukewarm. You're halfway in that door and halfway out. It's like he would vomit you and spew you out of his mouth. Be on fire for God. Don't be halfway in and out. He will be with you. He will never fail you or abandon you. And in Romans chapter 10, 9 through 15, we well, remember and have the He said you're gonna about about to take altitude, take flight. That's for somebody. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, this is for someone you're getting new heart muscles. I'm not sure who that's for, but I believe it. New heart muscles right now in Jesus' name. Speak it out loud. For it is by believing in your heart that you're made right with God. And it is, it is by openly declaring your faith that you're saved. Declare your faith. As the scripture tells us, anyone who trusts in him will be, anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. And as we trust, our roots grow down deep. And we're on that solid foundation in Christ. Jew and Gentile, Gentile are the same in this respect. They have the same Lord who gives generously to who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, call on him right now. Because he's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Don't bow before no giants today. Be still and know I'm God, he says. But how can they call on him to save them unless they believe in him? And how can they believe in him if they've never heard about him? And all is going to be restored in Jesus' name. That came to me earlier. Zero to hero. Someone feels like they got a bounty on their head. That everybody's after them. Well, guess what? Zero to hero. Remember that. Two or more gather in his name. Ask for anything in his name and it shall be done. And I'm believing you're going to get out of that pit. That bounty is cleared. Sins erased on the cross. How beautiful are the feet of the messengers who bring the good news. Pentecostal fire. Blow through the rooms right now. Because we need a miracle right now. Your brooks won't go dry. God can level the mountains in your life right now. I prophesy to the west, the east, the north, the winds. Just like the winds that have been 20, 30, 40 mile an hour around here and cold below freezing. I speak to the wind to blow over your situation, to purify your hearts. Hear your stress call. Hear your beacon call. There is a light at the end of that tunnel. Hills and valleys by torn wells. I like this song. And remember, rivers through the wasteland. In Arizona, remember, living water right through your dry positions that you're in. I walked among the shadows. You wiped my tears away? And I felt the pain of heartbreak in my life. And I've seen the brighter days. And I prayed prayers to heaven from my lowest place. 
And I've held the blessings. God, you give and take away. Maybe you feel disgraced. No good. But no matter what I have, your grace is enough. No matter where I am right now, say that. I'm standing in your love. On the mountains, I will bow my life when you get up on that mountain. To the one who set me there that got you up to that mountain. But if you're in the valley, you're in the dryness and the hurt, and you're full of giant, the life is giant after giant. I will lift my eyes. I will lift my, my eyes to the one who sees me in that valley. When I'm standing on the mountain, I didn't get there on my own. When I'm walking through the valley, I know I'm not alone when I go through that valley. Your rod and your staff protect me in the valley. I watch my dreams get broken in you. I hope, I hope again, no matter what. I know I'm safe inside your hand. This is for someone. Do not have the wilderness mentality. You've had lack and no food, no gas, maybe not even a place to stay, maybe cars break in, all kinds of chaos. Don't have the wilderness mentality. Stop complaining. Some, that's why some of the people didn't cross to that promised land. They complained. Count up all the joys and blessings, even if you have to write it on a wall, your mirror, when you wake up or go to the bathroom. On the mountains, I will bow to the one who set me there. Remember, if you're going through a valley moment, God is with you. Go unafraid the plans he has for you. Hope in a future. Say that, write it. God has a hope and a future for me? Yes. Oh, this song played earlier, Rescue by Lauren Daigle. You are not hidden. Say, I'm not hidden. There's never been a moment you were forgotten. Did you know you're not forgotten? You are not hopeless. Maybe you feel like a bounty's on your head. You're hopeless. You're stripped of everything. Your innocence was stolen. But guess what? Here's your answer. I hear your whisper underneath your breath. I hear your SOS, your SOS. God says, I hear your stress call. I will send out an army to find you. In the middle of the darkest night, it's true. I will rescue you. There is no distance that cannot be covered. Over and over, you're not defenseless. I'll be your shelter. I'll be your armor. He's your shelter and your armor and protection. God says his sheep know his voice. Make sure the wolves and stuff don't just, uh, trick you. I will send out an army to find you in the middle of your darkest night. It's true. I will rescue you. I will never stop marching till I reach you, God says. In the midst of your hardest fight, he's there. Stand. That's for somebody. Stand up. March around the room. This is your victory march. Dig into the word of God, the sword of the spirit. Apart from Jesus, we can do nothing. We think we're smart. We think we have our own head knowledge. But we walk on that water when we keep our eyes on Jesus and, and the cross and the heaven. I love this. Fall on your knees by David Phelps. Oh, holy night. The stars are shining. It is the night of our Savior's birth. Long lay the world in air pinning till he appeared and we felt worth. A thrill of hope for a weary world. Hear that? A thrill of hope. He's the hope of a weary world. For yonder breaks a glorious morn. Fall on your knees right now. Hear the angels' voices, whatever you're going through. This is the night when Christ was born. Fall on your knees right now. Truly, he taught to love each other and stop fighting and bickering. His law is love and his
His gospel is peace. Stop fighting and arguing and complaining. Change shall break right now in the Jesus, Jesus name in the wilderness valley moment. The slave or brother and in his name, in his name, oppression is seizing right now in Jesus name. From Jesse's house, David came out and he, that shepherd boy David and he became king. Don't ever think that God can't use you. He can. If you use David, he can use you. You're from the offspring of a champion, the DNA of a champion. You have a warrior's heart. Fall on your knees. Don't you hear the voice of the angel singing? Isaiah 40, 31. But those who trust in the Lord, trust is a key word here. You trust in the world or you trust in the Lord? Well, find new strength. Do you want new strength? When you trust in him, you get that strength. You'll find new chapters for you and your family. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not go weary when the storms come and the cold comes. Isaiah 61, 3, and this is the NLT version. To all who mourn in Israel that are crying and weeping and stressed, he will give you a crown of beauty for ashes. Joyous blessings instead of mourning and crying? Festive praise instead of despair? In their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted. And this is the King James Version. God wanted me to do both versions. To appoint unto them that mourn and Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Maybe you feel heavy in your spirit. That they may be called, tr called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. We glorify you, Lord. Jesus by Chris Tomlin. I'm going to read the song lyrics. Coming and going, going will be blessed. There's a truth older than the ages. There's a promise of things yet to come. There's one born for our salvation. It's Jesus. This is for someone you're starving yourself. Yes, groceries and gas are tough. I'm hurting. Other people are hurting right now. But nourishment for the soul is bigger than groceries. You're starving your soul. It's crying out, help. There's a light that overwhelms the darkness. There's a kingdom that forever reigns. There's a freedom for the chains that bind us. Jesus, who walks on the waters, who speaks to the sea. Who stands in the fire with me like he did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He roars like the lion. He's a lion of Judah. And he's fighting our battles. I don't know why that spoke. There's going to be a witness. Witnesses come when miracles happen. He bled as the lamb. He carries my healing in his hands. Jesus does. He carries your healing in his hands. That for someone with a toddler struggling, call upon his name. This is for you right now. There's a name I call in times of trouble. When you got toddlers, terrible twos. There is a there is a song that comforts in the night. There's a voice that calms a storm that rages. Jesus, he just wants you to say, Jesus. Who walks on the water and speaks to that sea when I feel surrounded. He makes a walkway right through the ocean. There's power in your name. Your redeemer lives. You're my rock and my redeemer. You have a true calling and you need to live up to that. There's his cross, Jesus on his cross, on the cross, Jesus 
died for our sins, we may wash all of them away, past sin and regret. Mark 13, 32 through 37. However, no one knows the day and hour when these things will happen. Not even the angels in heaven or the Son himself. Only the Father knows. And since you don't know when the time is going to come, be on guard. Stay alert. The coming of the Son of Man can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. When he left home, he gave each of his slaves instructions about the work they were to do. And he told the gatekeeper to watch for his return. You too must keep watch, for you do not know when the master of the household will return. In the evening? Is he going to return at midnight, before dawn, or at daybreak? Don't let him find you sleeping when he arrives. When Jesus comes, are, do you know if you're going to heaven? Are you going to hell? You want to burn an eternal fire? Well, no one knows when Jesus is coming. Be ready. Make sure your soul's ready. The time is now. Turn from your sin. Ask Jesus into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. Stony hearts are going to soften in Jesus' name. He's washing everything and purifies it. He won't remember it. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest, he says. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and his burden is light. I love this next song, My Testimony by Elevation Worship. I saw Satan fall like lightning. I saw darkness run for cover. But the miracle that I just can't get over, my name is registered in heaven? I believe in signs and wonders. I have resurrection power. Still, the miracle that I just can't get over. My name is registered in heaven? This is my testimony from death to life. Because grace rewrote my story. Say that. Grace rewrote my story. I'll testify by Jesus Christ the righteous. I'm justified. This is my testimony. Togetherness. Someone needs to work together for his will and kingdom come. His kingdom come and will be done. Come together, sons and daughters. Work together, united. Stop fighting. Brought or bought with were bought with blood and washed in water. Sing the praises of the Spirit. I'm not dead. If I'm not dead, say that. You're not done rewriting my story. God has greater things to come for you. Out of sight and out of mind. I know I got a lot, but hang in there because this is going to be good. You've got to stay to the end. The same God lyrics. I'm calling on the God of Jacob. Whose love endures through generations. I know that you will keep your covenant. I'm calling on the God of Moses. The one who opened up the ocean. And he keeps on speaking that. Opening up the ocean through this message. When you feel surrounded and your back's against the wall. And you feel hopeless. I need you now to do the same thing for me. Oh God I need you. Oh rock of rock of ages. I'm standing on your faithfulness. I'm calling on the God of Mary, whose favor rests upon the lowly and the poor. I know with you all things are possible. I'm calling on the God of David. Yes, I am. Who made a shepherd boy courageous. Remember that earlier? Be courageous. I may not face Goliath, but I got my own giants. Oh God, I need you. You're in the shelter of the most high God. He will give you favor and blessings. Your coming and going will be blessed. You heard the children then. You heard the children now. You're the same God. You answered prayers back then. You answer them now. It's breaking. It's breaking off you and your kids right now. The chains. The generational curses. The evil is fleeing. It's breaking. It's going straight to hell.
some, he said, get ready for change. That's for someone. A dream vacation is coming. Overlooking the stars. Remember the first, the, uh, the, the Noel, the, the star in the sky when baby Jesus was born? God, you are our fortress and our protection. From cold, sickness, heartbreak, debt is canceled, finances are healed, vehicles heal. Lord, watch over us that are in the valleys right now struggling. Some know, some have nowhere to warm to stay. They're fighting and bickering. Some dealing with addictions and heartbreak and loss and lack of food and gas. Some living paycheck to paycheck. Some is going through trouble and storm after storm. Hoping to see the light at the end of the tunnel, God. Where two or more gather in your name. You say, ask wholeheartedly and, and you will give us anything. So I'm asking. The people that are going through the valleys right now. To heal their situations right now. To minister peace right over this computer this camera so the peace will come over them right now the peace i feel just came over me gloria fill the room be a great light just like that star of david star of bethlehem I'm going to read this song in Jesus' name. Remember the star that came when Jesus was born. Look to the star, Jesus. God is fighting for us. God is on our side. He has overcome. He will not be shaken. We, I mean, yes, he is overcome. We will not be shaken. Say, I will not be shaken. We will not be moved. Jesus, you are here. God is fighting for us. He's fighting for you. God is on your side. He is overcome. We will not be shaken when we will not be moved. Remember David, shepherd boy to king. I will live and I will not die. The resurrection power of Christ alive in me. And I am free in Jesus name. Carry your burdens right now. Your shame. He's covering your, our shame. He's overcome. I will live, say that, and I will not die. The resurrection power of Christ. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom. Shackles are breaking in Jesus' name. He's fighting for you in your situation. So in rehearsal, we were just practicing the song. And again, in my spirit, I just sensed that if you were suffering cancer, Keeping, get, keeping given a death sentence. Maybe you're given a death sentence by a doctor. Whatever it is, we're going to sing this thing for you. We're going to sing the word straight from the word of God. God is fighting for you and your sickness and your cancer. I hate cancer in Jesus' name. And somebody stand up and say amen. And in the name of Jesus, not on our own strength. but in, And not in our own strength, but Jesus is strength. Sickness has to sway and has to blow, bow down to the name of Jesus. Sickness has to bow down to the name of Jesus. We declare the finished work of Christ in this place. We declare Jesus has paid the price for your healing, whatever it is right now. God is fighting for you. Remember the star of Bethlehem, Jesus. You're coming and you're going will be blessed. God will wipe away your tears. He sees your stress call. Turn your morning and he's going to turn your morning into dancing. You're going to go from rags and street clothes to up higher, higher levels. Your body is a temple. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. There's a lion living inside your lungs, the lion of Judah. Don't neglect it. We don't live on bread alone. Remember that. Nourishment comes from the word of God. His very word. We dig in every day to guide us. I have a couple last things. Bear with me. I know you're down to the bare minimum. And you feel like you're nothing left. 
Your bo- uh, um, I'm going to read the song, Away in a Manger. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. What? Jesus didn't have a crib? The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head in a manger. The stars is bright and the, the stars bright in the sky. Look down where he lay. The little Lord, Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are low, lowing. The baby awakes, but the Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love you, Lord Jesus. Look down from the sky and stay by my side today until morning at night. Be near me, Lord Jesus. Say that. Make that your prayer. Be near me. I ask you to stay close by me. Bless all the dear children in your tender care right now. Fit it and fit us for heaven. Fit us for heaven to live by the sword every day. He's conditioning you right now. Wow, I feel a peace. This is my last day. Remember, there's a lion inside you. Holy Spirit, listen to the Holy Spirit. And, the, and a fresh supply will be given to you. Make Jesus the Lord of your life. On, on Christmas, celebrate Jesus' birthday. Maybe you feel crippled. Sing, dance, make a difference in someone's life. They can't afford fancy clothes and food. The lowly, the poor, the hopeless. Help someone share with others. Love, hug, kiss, hold hands. Because he first loved us. God gave his one and only son for our sins, my sins, to be erased. So what more can we do to love people and forgive people just like he forgave us? He laid down his life for us, for our sins. Soften our hearts and purify and cleanse us, Father. I feel peace. Someone got their breakthrough right now. And my message is called the first Noel. Raise your hands. Do you feel that peace? Peace be still, he says, and know that I'm God. A miracle just took place. I love you guys. I'm here for you. Message me. I'm here for you. This has been sort of a Job type year for me. I, I've had a rough time. But God has been feeding and nourishing my soul. And that's important. We don't live on bread alone. We make mistakes. No one's perfect. But we learn from them every day. Feel his presence. Thank you, God, for your presence. Thank you for your peace. To stop our complaining and bickering and worrying. Be examples for others to follow. The lion inside of our soul. Have gratitude. Is the Lord our witness, the miracle? It's happening right now. Give him honor and glory and praise for the miracle right now. For in a word, not with just physical flesh and blood enemies, but with enemies and evil spirits that we cannot see. We got to put on the full armor of God every day. God's going to make a way in the wilderness for you. And your kids. I love you. And I'm praying for each and every one. This is my prayer, blessings, and favor. Everywhere you go, your coming and blessing will be. Your coming and going will be blessed. I love you guys. Amen.